Today, we're heading inside Nock to go to the Innovation Centre to investigate the role of submarines in ocean exploration. I need to ask you, what is a Boaty McBoatface? Because they're right by us. So a Boaty McBoatface is a submarine that we, uh, we've developed in-house here in what we've affectionately called the Boaty McBoatface hangar, <laughs> uh, which is an autonomous, long-range submarine. What is marine autonomy and why is it important? So marine autonomy is very important to us because we deploy these submarines and communicating underwater is incredibly difficult. So all the things that you have in your daily life, mobile phones, GPS, all those things that you use to communicate and know where you are, none of them work underwater. <laughs> so it, it provides quite a challenging environment um, for us to operate in. So the more decisions that the submarine can make itself, uh, without us having to aid it, the longer it can be deployed underwater and the better science it can do. So by autonomy, we mean the submarine making decisions uh, based on the environment around it and things that it's seen. That is really cool that your submarines know what to do and can make decisions. That's amazing. What do you think people would be most surprised to learn about submarines? So when we say these submarines are autonomous, that means they do not have a person in them. So one of the big questions that we get is where does the pilot go? So the pilot is actually sitting back here or at home, we have a web-based interface to pilot these vehicles with. So you can sit at your computer at home and you can command the submarine to go on another mission. One anecdote that I've got is I, I particularly have seen a, uh, I believe it was a Doritos packet at about 2,000 meters no. uh, deep. So you can go on these expeditions and see the effects that we as humankind are having. Why is it so important for us to have this data to do this research? The oceans, as you may be aware, are a very unexplored part of our planet. And there's a lot that we still don't know and a lot that we don't kind of understand about them and the effects that we're having on the ocean. Every time we deploy um, one of the submarines or uh, equipment from the ship, we are learning something more about our environment and how we can keep it pristine and how we can look after it. 